Hey everybody, Courtney here with a short, sweet practice for you to help open up your shoulders and let go of stress that tends to sit in that space. Do you have a strap nearby? You can place it on the earth for now. Stay in tall, find your way to Tadasana, mountain pose. Rock sway for a moment, just helping to find a tall, neutral spine, grounding through the feet, lifting through the belly, the heart, the top of the head. And on our next inhale, we'll shrug our shoulders up toward the ears. Exhale, release them back and down. Keep going with that. On the inhale, simple shrug. Exhaling, release. Two more. Now try reversing direction. Inhaling, shoulders hike up. Exhale, loop them forward and down. Inhale. Exhale, at least two more on your own. And from those forward shoulder rolls, take one more traditional loop of the shoulders back and down. Feel how your shoulder blades are melting away from the ears. Do let your palms spin forward and allow the shoulder heads to gently press back. You might feel a little different already, a little taller, a little more spacious. Let's take another inhale through the nose, maybe flutter the lips out, relaxing the face helps to let go of tension below that area. I want you to take your right arm on top of your left known as Garudasana, or eagle, in yoga. Backs of the hands are coming together. And maybe from there you turn where the right palm comes to meet the left. Most importantly, the elbows are pulling forward and gently up. And if you can't get the hands together, that's okay. Give yourself a hug instead. Breathing in, breathing out, filling up the back of the chest, maybe drawing those elbows forward a smidgen. And after a few deeper inhales and exhales on your own, do allow the arms to come down. Loosen it up for a moment, maybe a shoulder roll or two, one way, the other, maybe both. And stabilize shoulder blades on the back. Take the left arm now on top of the right. Can you start by getting the backs of the hands together? And then maybe keep on going that little U-turn Drawing the elbows forward and up, melting the traps down. Feeling space around your ears, between your head and your shoulders. And if that's too much, give yourself a hug. Couple more inhales and exhales, emphasizing the expansion in the back body. Again, with the next out breath, let it all go. In a couple of breaths where you shake it out, maybe you sway it out. Teeny tiny sip of water if that's just what you need right now as we loosen up. Now next, we're going to interlace fingers behind the back. That's really hard. This is where starting with that strap could help. And just bring your hands relatively close. Now reach your knuckles gently down, feeling that space right at the top of the shoulders opening up. And then bring both hands over towards your outer right hip. I'm going to turn away from the screen just to be clear on that for a moment. And as I take both hands over to the right, I'm tipping my head, my ear to the right. Letting that outer left shoulder region, that trap, melt and open. One of my very favorites. Mm. You can stay put. You can also gaze down towards your outer right baby toe. And after a breath or two gazing down, or do you rewind? And that you've just tipped the head. Take another breath, inhaling up to center. Exhale, release. Give those arms a little shake unless you're holding your strap and then just walk hands a little closer, adjust. Other thumb on top if that works for you, bringing both hands to the outer upper left tip when you're ready. And we gently tip the head left. Let that right shoulder melt down, opening up the trap, the outer parts of your neck. Staying put for a few more breaths or gazing down towards your outer left baby toe, side of the foot for a moment. And rewinding like you first came in. 
lingering where you need to linger. Back to neutral we go. Shake it out, sway it out. This is where we all grab the strap. We're gonna take some big arm circles, sometimes referenced as shoulder rolls as well. Hands roughly a yard, a meter apart. The broader you are, the more space. If you're a little stiffer, same idea. Inhaling, take the arms up. Exhaling, hands move back and down. If you don't have a yoga strap, a scarf, a tie will work. But again, roughly a meter or so between the two hands. If you're fidgeting, give yourself a few more centimeters. If it feels a little too easy, you're not getting much of a stretch, it might just be because you're really open, but more likely because you need to bring the hands a little narrower. Again, starting with just a centimeter or two and see how it feels. After doing a few, consider holding in a certain stage of this arm circle. I'm going to pause when my hands are about shoulder height and take a slow turn, a twist, a little sway. Breathing in, breathing out, any tension in that frontal deltoid. Maybe you do one or two more on your own or a different variation on your own. And you release the strap. Stand tall again, mountain pose. Let your chin release down to your chest for an exhale or two. Maybe flutter the lips up for one of those out breaths. Rolling the head and neck now through some half or full rotations. Maybe it's somewhere in between, three quarters, four fifths. more easy breaths, creating range of motion where we need it. Breathing in a little more deeply so we don't get dizzy. And just allow for the breathing out to happen naturally. And once the chin is back at the chest, soften the knees a lot. Let your arms lead the way and just roll yourself down into an easy fold. Fingertips can be there to support you framing the feet. Or of course, hold the ankles, maybe put your sit bones to the wall, feet a few inches forward of the wall if you need more support. You can give that head a little shake, yes, shake no. A few more inhales and exhales, making it your own. And then I encourage you a few deep breaths to roll yourself back up to stand, taking a vertebra by vertebra. Realigning, a little traction for the spine. Crown of the head lifting up. Shoulder blades melting down. Consider joining your palms for just a moment. Pressing the finger pads, broadening the heart center, the pectoral muscles. And feeling those subtle or big shifts you've made. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.